What's the crack, lads? Welcome to our first look at eFootball 2024. So this is the new title menu. This is the new title screen for eFootball 2024. What do you guys think? I think there's a lot more work gone into it. It looks a lot slicker. I do like that kit that Messi's wearing. It looks a lot cleaner. You know, that kind of like color scheme is really, really nice. The purple to blue with the black background. But let me know. We'll also get into why Messi is there in a second as well. But this is available now, right? So there's two updates. The first update is for obviously updating the core game. So turning it in from eFootball 23 to eFootball 2024 on iOS and Android and console will come tomorrow. That you'll be able to load up this or preload this. That will change all the, the, the assets and the actual core game, okay? But the servers are not online. So there's a couple of screenshots here. This is obviously the mobile version screenshot. So you'll see the graphics are worse than the console. But there is a second update that will be coming, which will be the live data update. That will turn on all the player packs, the contracts, all the things like that. We did get a, a cheeky little trailer as well. There doesn't really show much. There's nothing that you can really get into here. Um, it's just kind of like a teaser trailer, really. Gameplay, it's even, there's no real fluid gameplay clips that you can actually see. Yeah, this looks different or that looks more fluid. The gameplay clips are way too short. It's mostly like little dribbles like that. It looks pretty okay, um, but we will get into that. But yeah, as I said, Messi, it looks like is going to be the ambassador, right? Now, I'm going to show you something at the end of this as well, that Messi is going to have a special edition ambassador pack. I'll show you the screen towards the end of the video. He is covered everywhere on this. So it is cool that Messi is still the ambassador. Um, he's on the title screen as well, as you see there. And I'll also show you as well that the menu, the pop-up that you get with the servers, the servers are still down. So for anyone confused, right, you are able to preload eFootball 2024 on the App Store for mobile or on the Android Store um, or the Google Store for Android devices, okay? But you are not able to play online. The server and all of that, the packs, the, the contracts, the new database, the new features, all of that stuff will come with the live data update when the servers are back online, which is uh, the 7th, which is two days from now, okay? So the console edition, you'll still be able to do this and upload it and have the title screen. But when you click to go into the title screen, it'll just tell you that you will not be able to do anything. It'll just keep rebooting you out and saying that the server is down and you'll get a little message up here. I'll show you that towards the end of the video. But first, I do want to go into some of the changes that they talk about, right? So there isn't actually a lot to go through here. Now, I'm going to do another video on some of the stuff that uh, one of the guys on Twitter has found, and I will leave a link to that at the end of this video as well, um, if you guys want to take a look at that. But you will see here that it's just pretty much the same thing. Sign-in players, special player list, standard player list, manager list, playing matches, uh, playing against the AI. There isn't really anything there that's going to like pop out at you. Um, put your strength to the test in user matches. So that's obviously eFootball League. They haven't rebranded that. As I have been telling you guys forever, the people saying that co-op was getting a massive, massive update. The people saying that Master League and edit mode. Listen, do not listen to leaks or rumors. Take the information that they're given and then see what comes with the console update on Thursday, right? There will be a couple of little bits and pieces to get into. But they do talk about player development here and there's a big paragraph on it. But they really are just explaining it again. And they say that you can actually use in level training programs which can be attained, uh, obtained as event rewards. So that's kind of a little switch up um there which we can we can kind of see when the game actually fully launches how exactly that's going to work right but the rest of the stuff here um down towards the end of the uh page on this there isn't really anything else there to talk about i mean it just says what's new in version uh 8.0.0 .0. that's obviously for the mobile um so the new one i'm thinking is going to be eFootball 1.0 on console that's going to be how it's kind of talked about right and they just tell you what's actually new in this version. So don't worry too much about it being version 8.0.0, whatever. This is the first uh, mobile update for eFootball 2024, and it will follow for the console. And then on the 7th, the servers will be back on. You'll be able to play online, the packs, um, the new co coin stuff, the new premium content, match pass, all of that. So they talk about that the team playstyle level is gone. And then they talk about a couple of little changes to the UI, such as base team settings now placed in game plan. And they just talk about updated face models, players, thumbnails, commentary, all that sort of stuff, right? So there isn't a massive amount in it to speak about. Now, Durandil, this guy is on Twitter. Um, he has actually showed a preview of this uh, on his Twitter account. This is his stuff. So I've just had a look at his Twitter. 
and he had it up here so this is just a feed of his twitter um and it just shows you kind of the layout or whatever you can see that they've reduced the colors um from the blue and the yellow and they've gone to this kind of color scheme here which is the black right which is the black they also have a couple of other bits and pieces in there as well such as a couple of fake trophies and stuff that are assets in there and they do have a new mode as well called my league which we'll get into in its own specific specific video right but as i talked about with messi right I have been saying for a while, I do think that Messi is going to get his own special card and they do actually kind of confirm this with this message that you're seeing on screen here. So I reckon that this card is going to be very similar to the ambassador pack that was brought out for Neymar and Messi way back in eFootball 22 and then followed into eFootball 23 at the start of the game's launch. Um, so I reckon that they will do the ambassadors one. Bruno got one, Alexander Trent got one. Um, and then you had the club packs with like Legend and Fati and players like that. So... There is confirmation there that we will be at least getting one coins premium pack that you will get with a load of bonuses. So it'll be similar to the ambassador pack that we got before. You'll get skill trainers, you'll get a couple of other goodies, and you will get a special edition of Messi based on that message there. So let me know what you guys think. I'll keep this short and sweet, but it is our first video on eFootball 2024. You know where to keep it locked if you want the best daily eFootball content. We will be doing some eFootball mobile as well, so keep an eye on that if I've got any eFootball mobile fans. And uh, yeah, that is it for me. So I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe and buckle in this week because we're going to be doing a lot of content and a lot of streaming. Until next time, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.